Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to manipulate text in Python as string and list objects using various methods. In the previous video we read some text from a file and assigned the result under the variable text, which now contains a Python string object. This means that we can use all the methods available for manipulating string objects to work with this text. To get started, we're going to use the replace method to replace all the sequences that stand for line changes in the text with empty strings, so we're essentially removing all the line changes. We then store the result under the variable processed underscore text. We then print out the first 1000 characters under the variable processed text. As you can see, the text no longer contains any line changes, but we can still find the beginning of each paragraph because they're marked by three spaces. We can also see that the beginning of the text contains some metadata on this newspaper article. If we were only interested in the body text of the article for some purposes of analysis, we can now easily remove the metadata because we know that it's separated from the body text by three spaces. We can use the split method of a string object to split the string into a list. The split method takes a single argument named sep for separator, which takes a string object as input. In this case, we use the sequence of three spaces as the sequence that is used to split the string into separate items. We assign the resulting list under the variable of the same name and then print out the result. This gives us a long list which should correspond to the paragraphs of the text. Let's use the type function to quickly check the type of the object under the processed underscore text variable. As you can see, this object is a list. As you may remember, the metadata is in the beginning of the article and separated from the body text by three spaces. Because we split the string at three spaces, we should now have the metadata in the first item in the list. To retrieve the metadata, we must access the first item in the list, which can be found at index zero, because Python starts counting from zero. And if we run this cell, we can see that the first item indeed contains the metadata. If we want to get rid of the metadata and retain just the body text of the article, we can use the pop method of a Python list object. The pop method expects an integer as input, which must correspond to the index of an item that we want to remove from the list. And in this case, we want to remove the item at index zero. If I run this cell, Python will pop the first item in the list under the variable processed underscore text. The pop method also returns the item that was removed from the list, which is the reason why we see the metadata text here as the output. If you're wondering why we didn't assign the result under some variable, the reason is because Python lists are mutable. This means that they can be manipulated in place and do not require to be assigned under some variable in order to store the changes. Let's check the result by retrieving the first three items in the list. As you can see, the first item in the list no longer corresponds to the metadata, but the first paragraph of the body text. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And if you have any questions about Python string objects, then feel free to leave a comment below.